Good morning, student. Today in this English period, now I am continue with the eight exercise eight from workbook. Just now we are doing unit three from workbook. So now in exercise eight, each of the following words has a silent letter or letters. Say each word aloud and circle the silent letters. So simply means we just circle the silent letter. Okay, in this exercise. So now you people be ready with your notebook and start writing with me. This eight each of the. following each of the following words has a silent letter or letters say each read it loudly say each word aloud and circle the silent letters okay so now one by one you just note it down and circle i am reading this okay i am not going to write down each and every word first only the way in which way you have to note it down see it is given sign so this is the circle word here write down g in this way you have to now write down the rest of the word okay sign g that is silent then after two that is walk write down in that l is silent then after 3 r in this h is silent you have to note it down the word also and circle the silent letter in that then no so in this k w no then after wrist in this w then right w knife k judge d doubt b watch t you have to write down particular word and you have to circle the silent letter 11 knock k then wrong w island island s switch t color u then after honest h then in this way you have to write down complete word and circle the silent letter after after honest then next talking in this l then after building u then condemn n knowledge k w d so you have to write down complete word and circle the silent letters okay and 
write down in this way as i have written first now next nine match the words in one box with their opposite in the other box and write them on the given spaces so what you have to do two boxes are given we have to match the word from the given boxes with their opposite in the other box and write them on the given spaces write down 9 match the words in one box with their opposites opposites in the other box and write them on the given spaces okay so now see first i read it out the two boxes all the words in the first box win brave heavy debt east rulers accept sunken easy public import different next peace capable conquest truth profit superior remember then after in the next box war reject similar height loss forget difficult bulging loss defeat subjects cowardly light export inferior incapable waste private previous false hood okay we having two boxes from the first box whatever the word we have to match that word with the opposite word of the following word for example see first one it is given win okay first word that is win so now we have to find it out opposite of win that is lose yes so it is given so now just note it down this two boxes from your workbook in your notebook you have to copy this two boxes in your notebook on board i am writing that answer i am not writing this two boxes okay so after writing that two boxes now start writing with me win then after brave cowardly now we take one by one word from the first box and we find opposite word from the second box then after heavy light then depth height after this east west then next rulers sub checks
accept, reject, sunken, bulging, easy, difficult, public, private, after this, Eleven Import Export Different Similar Next Previous Peace War Capable Incapable Then next conquest defeat. Truth, falsehood, profit, loss, superior. Inferior Remember Forget Clear? So you have to note it down that both the two boxes from your workbook in your notebook and after this you have to write down answer okay now in the next page 10 take the correct spelling in each set so we orally do this just note it down that question 10 after this you note down orally I speak out answer you tick with the pencil and then write down properly in your notebook. Write down. Take the correct spelling in each set. Now we having sets of words, we can say the group of words 
and we have to find out the proper spelling of the particular word okay so in the first second one f i e n d f e n d then after in two rivalry r i v a l r y rivalry then three square s q u a r e square four martyr m a r t y r m a r t y r five monster m o n s t e r monster m o n s t e r then six destiny d e s t i n y destiny seven century c e n t u r y c e n t u r y century eight sacrifice s a c r i f i c e sacrifice so you have to write down this exercise in your notebook from your workbook okay now then after 11 the sentences given below tell the story of a clever fox and a foolish goat so this thing we already read it in our textbook exercise also but the sentences are not in proper order put the sentences in the right order to make a readable story with the story in three short paragraphs okay so you have to write down this in three short paragraph whatever the sentences just now given they are not in a proper order be familiar with the story okay so just for few minutes you people pay attention in your workbook orally we discuss this and then after you have to write down this in your notebook okay so now pay attention a fox was very thirsty it was a hot summer day so he could not come out but the well was too deep then he try to come out the fox jumped into the well he went to a well to drink water there were there was some water in the well he drank water and quenched his thirst now two she saw the fox in the well by chance a god passed that way she said to the fox what are you doing there the cunning fox said it is very cool here and the water is also sweet please come down and taste it then after 3 he jumped out of the well the foolish goat was left in the well the foolish goat jumped into the well the fox at once climbed over her back now what we have to do we have to put the sentences in the right order to make a readable story write the story in three short paragraphs so we have to write down story in the given space in three short paragraphs so now i am orally tell the story okay i am not going to write down this story on board so you people pay attention and give the order so in the first it was a hot summer day a fox was very thirsty he went to a well to drink water give the number okay in the first whatever the points given i am reading one by one one then second then okay so you just write the number and then after you write down that in the in the way of paragraph okay so one it was a hot summer day in first this is first one it was a hot summer day Two, a fox was very thirsty. Three, he went to a well to drink water. Four, there was 
some water in the well. Five. The fox jumped into the well. Six. He drank water and quenched his thirst. Seven. Then he tried to come out. Eight. But the well was too deep. Nine. So he could not come out. Again, I am reading first one. In first one, it was a hot summer day. Two, a fox was very thirsty. Three, he went to a well to drink water. Four, there was some water in the well. Five, the fox jumped into the well. Six. He drank water and quenched his thirst. Five, then six. He drank water and quenched his thirst. Seven, then he tried to come out. Eight, but the well was too deep. Nine, he could not come out. Now, second one. Okay. So, in the second, now answer is 1. By chance, a god passed that way. By chance, a god passed that way. 2. She saw the fox in the well. She saw the fox in the well. 3. She said to the fox, she said to the fox, what are you doing there? What are you doing there? Then four, the cunning fox said, It is very cool here and the water is also sweet. Four, the cunning fox said, It is very cool here and the water is also sweet. Five, please come down and taste it. Please come down and taste it. And the third that is given in this First one, the foolish god jumped into the well. The foolish god jumped into the well. Two, the fox at once climbed over her back. The fox at once climbed over her back. Three, he jumped out of the well. He jumped out of the well. Four, the foolish god was left in the well. The foolish god was left in the well. So here... Our workbook exercise of unit 3 is complete. You have to write down this 11 exercise in your notebook. Okay. As I give instruction, you have to write down each and everything in your notebook. Now, we are going to start second chapter from supplementary reader. Our that is children at work. So now you people open your supplementary reader. Supplementary reader and in this you have to open supplementary reader. And in this book open Chapter 2, Children at Work. Now you people pay attention in your book. Before you read, there are many reasons why children have to work. Means we have seen so many children, small children at working places. So means there are so many reasons behind that, that why children have to work. Some help their family make a livelihood. So for the some means make a livelihood, so some helping their family for that reason. Others <coughs> who run away from unhappy homes need to support themselves. Children who have to work can't go to school and play like other children of their age. And such children who means run away from unhappy homes, need to support themselves. Okay, that's why they run from their homes. And children who have to work, those children who are work, 
doing work can't go to school like you people and play like other children of their age velu an 11 year old boy runs away from home he wanders around for hours before getting on a train to chennai without a ticket tried tired and hungry he doesn't know where to go when a stranger at the station shouts a word of welcome okay so velu an 11 year old boy runs from home he wanders around for hours before getting on a train he means just wandering there before for an hour before getting on a train to chennai without a ticket and means he is too tired and hungry also he doesn't know where to go he don't know that where he has to go when a stranger at a station shouts a word of welcome when the kanyakumari express pulled in at chennai central it took velu some time to get off when he finally stood on the platform his legs felt wobbly as if he was still on moving train so now means when he was on the platform okay after that uh, kanyakumari express pulled in at chennai central and it took velu some time to get off and when he finally stood on the platform at that time means he also his legs were felt wobbly like moving means he just now also feel that still on he was in a moving train oi out of the way a porter went by with a loaded trolley velu jumped aside so one that porter on behind velu and uh, means shouting like oi out of the way means go aside velu jumped aside because that porter went with the loaded trolley he sat on a bench on the platform putting his smaller bundle down so he sat on the bench on the platform putting his small he having that small bundle down put that bundle down in all in all his 11 years he had never seen so many people except once a year at the fair in his village so in this means at that place just now he saw so many people so such people he never seen in all his 11 years only one time means he saw such a people the crowd of people we can say once a year at the fair in his village people walked by bumping into him with their suitcases a voice announced something on a loud speaker near him a group of people sat on their luggage so near him other people are also sitting there with their luggage looking at a tv hanging from the roof and they means on the platform they saw that this see the tv the noise was terrible and the noise was terrible okay so student in this period up to this much now further we will continue in our next period so as today we completed unit 3 okay from textbook from workbook so just go through with it revised it now further we will continue in our next period thank you goodbye